Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Palmer of Sports Test, and today I'm going to talk to you about the signs and symptoms of overtraining. There's a very delicate balance between training and recovery, and if you get that wrong, the impact can be devastation. Really, there's four aspects of overtraining that we look at. The first one is physiological signs. What we'd look for is we'd look for an increased resting heart rate. And if you've seen my video, it's really important that you take your resting heart rate on a regular basis. During training, we can see a suppressed heart rate for a given intensity. So if you're training and you're struggling to get your heart rate to the zone or the level that you would normally expect it for your run speed or your bike power output, then the suggestion is potentially you're overdoing things. Heart rate will also remain elevated post-exercise, so your heart rate won't recover as quickly as you would expect it to normally. And then you've got other physiological indices such as excessive thirst and increased night sweating. These are key, key things that you will see from a physiological point of view. Moving on to a performance point of view, an athlete may experience or report an abnormal muscle soreness or muscle pain. Now, you'll often get muscle soreness or muscle pain, particularly if you're doing high intensity training. So we're really looking here for pain or soreness that wouldn't be usual for the session or the intensity that you've done. A heavy legged feeling is quite often reported or even the general inability to undertake the workout. So a session that you'd normally complete quite happily, you may not be able to achieve, you might not be able to finish the last reps or you might not be able to keep going for as long as you'd expect. And again, allied to this, you'd often see a drop off in performance where you can't maintain the same performance pace, the power output, the speed that you would expect if you refresh. And then the final one of the performance factor we'd be looking for would be reduced endurance capacity. So you're going to struggle to go as long as you would do normally. We then look at the psychological symptoms. Key thing is general apathy, lethargy. You don't want to train, you don't feel like training, you feel sluggish. Short attention span. Now, really, most of you I'm hoping or expecting are probably cyclists, triathletes and runners. So attention span and concentration on key tasks maybe isn't quite so significant as a sporting performance, but actually you might be noticing this outside of your sporting performances. Irritability is a fact that a lot of people are normally, but it can actually bring itself on even worse during overtraining. So some people might be naturally irritable, others it's something that comes on when they become fatigued. Again, from an endurance athlete's point of view, impaired coordination is probably not really going to be that noticeable. But if you're a team sport player and you're looking for drills, again this is a factor that can be you know, really quite key, or potentially you're going to see this again outside of your sporting uh, life. Then we look at things like general loss of interest in training, which again goes back a bit to the apathy and lethargy and depression. Can't, can't, don't want to, don't feel like it. So those are the psychological signs and symptoms we might see. Then we move on to health related signs. From this point of view, an athlete might experience or report abnormal fluctuations in body weight where the body weight is jumping up and down um, almost on a daily basis quite significantly. Strangely enough an athlete actually might lose their appetite so they don't feel like they want to eat despite the fact that they're very very fatigued, very tired. Increased nocturnal fluid intake so you're waking up in the night feeling thirsty which obviously as we mentioned before that can go hand in hand with night sweats. Then we've got things like general lower resistance. So for a lot of athletes, it would be a case if you look for symptom, simple symptoms, uh, mouth ulcers, cold sores, um, those type, uh, the cold that comes on much easier, those type of things that again, just show that the immune function is suppressed uh, and the health isn't quite so good. Then we, th we report things like poor healing of wounds. So if you're unfortunate enough to cut or graze or scratch yourself, that will take a lot longer to heal. Then again, we've got disturbed sleep, which again goes back to the nocturnal fluid intake. But again, it's more like the heavy legged feeling, legs twitching through the night, keeping you awake. 
And the final health-related sign that we might see, uh, gastrointestinal disturbances, so upset stomachs, diarrhea, um, and again, an athlete generally not being well. The key thing here is that you're not going to see lots of these factors. You may only see one or two, or you might see lots of factors. It really is an individual thing that we're looking for. So if you've got someone that's typically irritable, well, irritability is one that you cross off the list. And again, sometimes with these symptoms, it's not what you're reporting, it's how other people view them. So someone else can say to you, your coach, um, you know, a loved one can say to you, you know, you're really irritable at the moment, are you overdoing it? Well, that'd probably go down like a, a lead balloon, but you need to rely on other people to tell you when you're overdoing it. And really what you want to do is actually, if you consider all of those factors, those 18, 20 factors that have gone through, you're looking for changes in those factors. So are you more irritable than normal? You know, you might always get up and have a wee in the middle of the night, but it's is it happening more frequently? Is your sleep more, dis more disturbed? Um, so you're looking for small changes in those to see when you're at the balance of whether you're training or overtraining. The key thing is recovery. I hope this helps and hopefully you're going to really perform this season. Good luck.